There are so many math books, and one of the problems with math books is the price. There's a lot of math books out there that cost a lot of money. And also, they're not so easy to read. In this video, I'm going to show you books that are easy to read, they have answers to every single problem, and they are super affordable and widely available. So if you're thinking about getting started with mathematics or you want to refresh your mathematics, you can use these books to do both. These books start from the most basic mathematics, pre-algebra, geometry, and they go all the way to calculus. All right, let's get started and let's go in order so you can see which book is right for you. Pre-algebra is like the most basic math you can learn pretty much. And this is actually where I started and both of these books are awesome for beginners. Let's start by looking at this one here, Essential Pre-Algebra Skills Practice Workbook. This one is by Chris McMullen, PhD, and it has answers to every single problem. Here's a quick look at the contents. It talks about exponents, order of operations, fractions, decimals, percents, working with expressions, solving equations, racial problems, rate problems, and inequalities. And you have an answer key, which again gives you answers to everything, which make it a great choice for self-study. The format of the book is such that it requires very little reading and more doing. So you're gonna find yourself actually doing mathematics with a book like this. For example, this is the section on adding and subtracting fractions. So it has a very, very short explanation. It gives you some examples. And then you have tons of exercises where you get to practice adding fractions. And then you can look in the back of the book and you have answers to every single problem. Here you can see the answers to the exercises we were just looking at, and you'll notice that it actually has all of the steps, so it actually shows you how to do the problems. It doesn't just give you the answers, which make it incredible for self-study. Now, this is not a perfect book by any means. This is not really a textbook, it's a workbook, so it only covers certain topics. But that really is reflected in the price, and you get answers, which is super, super valuable. So it's perfect for anyone who actually wants to learn and actually do mathematics. Everything you need to ace pre-algebra and algebra one in one big fat notebook. I actually have every single book from this series, and they are all incredibly awesome. So this is a great book that you can use just to learn a lot of mathematics. Let's take a look at some of the content in this book. By the way, this book is not a hard cover, but it's also not a soft cover. It's like somewhere in between. It has like a really weird feeling to it. It kind of, yeah, it feels really weird and I like it. It feels very durable, so you can actually throw it around and it should survive plenty of abuse. Here's a really quick look at the contents so you see what this book provides. It starts with arithmetic properties, the number system, ratios, proportions, and percent, and then exponents and algebraic expressions. Linear equations and inequalities, graphing linear equations and inequalities, statistics and probability functions, polynomial operations, factoring polynomials, radicals, quadratic equations, and quadratic functions. The layout of the book is really wonderful. So it starts with an explanation and then it starts giving you examples and it reads like a regular book, except it's written in a much easier way. It's way more user-friendly than like your standard algebra book. So this is the section on inequalities, and you can see you have to graph them, and it goes through it step by step, and it uses something called the test point method. Then it gives you plenty of exercises, which is really cool. So here you have to graph the linear inequalities, and then you can check your answers. And one of the cool things about this book is that you don't have to go to the back of the book to check your answers. All you have to do is boom, turn the page, and then there you have the answers to all of the inequalities that you were supposed to graph. Really, really awesome. This book covers way more topics than the book by Chris McMullen, and it's a lot thicker as you can see. Both of them are excellent books and both are worth getting. I think this book is great for anyone who just wants to get started with basic mathematics. It's a really good starting point and it actually even includes other topics like statistics as we saw earlier. So which book should you get? Well, as a collector of math books, I got both because I collect math books. If you're trying to decide between this one or this one, I would just say get both. They're actually that affordable that you can probably just get both and then switch it up. You know, one day you read this book, the next day you read this one, or maybe one day you do problems from both. I wanted to throw in geometry because I don't talk about a lot of geometry books, and that's because there's not that many geometry books compared to other subjects. I think one of the reasons is that geometry is typically not taught in college. Most people who go to college don't take a geometry course, unless they're like education majors. But if you're like a math major in college, you're probably not going to take an entire course on geometry. It's really something that's studied in high school. And that's who this book is for. It's for high school students who want to learn geometry. This is probably one of the best books for geometry that you can actually buy for self-study too. So if you're not in high school, you're not in college, and you want to refresh your geometry, or you just want to learn geometry for the sake of learning geometry, this is a very, very gentle introduction to the subject. Let's take a super quick look at the contents. It starts with the basics of geometry, parallel lines, 
triangles and congruence, and then quadrilaterals and polygons, geometric transformations, similarity, right triangles and trigonometry, and circles. Finally, we have area and surface area and volume. The format of this book is identical to the format of the other big fat notebook that I showed you. So it starts with some knowledge and then it gives you plenty of examples as you can see. And then you get exercises. And after you have your exercises, you can look at the answers by simply turning the page. And it has all of the answers right there, which makes it super convenient. You don't even have to go to the back of the book. All you have to do is turn the page and you have all of the answers right there. Now, this is not a perfect book. I would not say that this is a textbook on geometry. You can certainly get books that have way more knowledge than this, but this is super affordable and super accessible and it has answers to every single problem. So it's kind of hard to beat in terms of self-study. It's a wonderful book and it really shows that books do get better over time. As much as I love old math books, this is a phenomenal book. Algebra Essentials Practice Workbook with Answers. This one again is by Chris McMullen. And this is a really nice book for people who want to learn some algebra. The best thing about this book is that it has the answers and that it's affordable. It's not a perfect book because it doesn't have as much knowledge as say, you know, College Algebra by Blitzer, but it's got answers to everything, which make it a great book to start doing math as soon as you get it. Here's a quick look at the contents and you can see it doesn't have that many topics, but what it does cover, it covers well. Linear equations with integral coefficients, linear equations with fractional coefficients, simple quadratic equations, factoring quadratic equations, formula for the quadratic equation, cross multiplying and systems of linear equations. So it has very, very specific topics. The layout of this book is very similar to Chris's other books. So it has a very, very brief explanation with plenty of examples and the examples show more steps than other books. I compare the examples in Chris's books to math videos. When you're making a math video, you're able to show more steps because you're able to speak at the same time. Chris somehow puts that into words, which is a very, very big challenge. And he does a really good job. Then you turn the page and you have tons of problems. It is ridiculous how many problems you have, but honestly, that's how you get good at mathematics by doing problems. I mean, look at this, look at all of these problems on cross multiplication. It just keeps going and going and going. Will it ever end? I'm still turning the page and there's still problems on cross multiplication. I mean, it's just completely ridiculous and I'm just gonna keep turning until we run out of problems because look at this, it just, it just never ends. I mean, I'm still turning the page. Oh, I think I've reached the end. Finally, now we're at systems of linear equations. And of course, the best part is you have answers to all of these problems in the back of the book. Here are all of the answers to all of the problems that Chris put in this book. It is completely ridiculous how many problems you have in this book for practice. So it's a great book to just buy and sit down and start doing math. Even if you just do five problems a day, it's better than doing zero problems and it's gonna make you better at mathematics. This book I really like. This is his trigonometry book, Essential Practice Workbook with Answers, also by Chris McMullen, a very, very popular book online and a very good book. The reason I love this book so much is because it has specific topics in trigonometry which people struggle with. I taught trig for several years and I know what the hard stuff is and what the easy stuff is. Chris puts the hard stuff in here and he covers it really, really well. Here's a quick look at the contents. Now it's not all hard, a lot of it's pretty easy. For example, converting degrees to radians, converting radians to degrees, identifying trig functions in right triangles, special right triangles, memorizing basic trig functions in quadrant one. There we go, finding the reference angle, determine basic trig functions in quadrants two to four. This is what destroys people. So that's one of the hardest things for people to learn in trig. And Chris has tons of exercises so you can practice. Then he talks about inverse trig functions, the law of sines and law of cosines, learn and apply trig identities, and then solving algebraic equations that involve trig functions. So basically, from here down, from chapter, from chapter five down, that's really the hardest part, I think, for most people who are taking a trig course. And Chris, again, covers it phenomenally. Probably one of the hardest things for people to learn in trigonometry is right here. Determine the basic trig functions in quadrants two through four. People in calculus struggle with this all the time because it just takes a lot of effort to really learn this and understand it. Chris does a wonderful job explaining everything. And then you get tons of exercises. I'm just gonna keep turning the page. I mean, so many problems. If you were to actually do all of these problems, you would be a trigonometry master. I mean, look at this, this is ridiculous. I'm still turning the page. Wow, 
just completely insane. And of course, like all of Chris's books, you have answers in the back of the book, which makes it super perfect for self-study. You get so many exercises in this book, it's ridiculous. Now, this book doesn't have everything a regular trig book has, but again, what it does cover, it covers well, and it covers some of the hardest stuff in trigonometry, which make it great as a supplement to someone who wants to learn trig, and also great for someone who just wants to learn trig from scratch, from the very beginning. Lastly, we have calculus, which is a wonderful subject. Chris has two wonderful books that I have here. Essential Calculus Skills Practice Workbook with full solutions, not just answers, but full solutions. And Calculus with Multiple Variables, Essential Skills Workbook, and this also has full solutions. I love this book because it has exercises that you won't see in other books, and it has those answers to those exercises that you just can't find. Let's go ahead and start with this one though because this one comes before this one. Here is a super quick look at the contents and this actually has topics from Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Calculus 3. It's like a weird mix of topics that he decided to pick and throw in the book. It starts with derivatives of polynomials, the chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule, derivatives of trig functions, derivatives of exponentials, derivatives of logs, second derivatives, extreme values, limits in L'Hopital's rule, integrals of polynomials, definite integrals, integrals of trig functions, exponentials and logs, polynomial substitution, trig substitution, that is super hard for people, that is covered in calculus two, integration by parts, usually a calc two topic as well, and then we have a calc three topic here, multiple integrals. The layout of the book is really nice because you can get through it pretty quickly and just start doing problems right away. This is the section on derivatives of logs. You can see we have one page where Chris defines things, gives some formulas, gives some examples, we have one more page here where we have some more mathematics and then boom, you're at the exercises. So you do a couple problems and then you can check your answers in the back of the book. Here you can see the answers are not just answers, they're actually full detailed solutions. And again, the solutions you're gonna find in this book are very different from solutions in other books. They remind me more of like math videos. He shows extra steps that other books simply don't take the time to show for various reasons. This book covers specific topics, and again, it covers them really, really well. I think this is Chris's best book, but it's really not his most popular one because a lot of people don't learn this stuff, but I think this is the most valuable one to people who want to learn calculus. It's Calculus with Multiple Variables, Essential Skills Workbook. And again, I think it's valuable because the examples that you find in this book, you can't really find them in other books. And if you can find them, you just can't find that many. This book gives you more problems with work solutions for these specific topics than other books do. Let's take a super close look at the contents. We've got partial derivatives, the chain rule with multiple variables, extreme values with multiple variables, vectors, scalar and vector products, polar coordinates, spherical coordinates, cylindrical coordinates, the gradient, the divergence, the curl, normal and tangent vectors, line integrals, surface and volume integrals, center of mass and moment of inertia. So again, you can find these topics in any multivariable calc book, but here you get more examples which make it super, super valuable. This is the chapter on line integrals and Chris takes his time and explains everything really well. I mean, look at all of these examples and explanations that he gives you. Really, really valuable stuff. And then you actually have some exercises here and you have some more exercises here and some more here. And then let's go to the back of the book and check out the solutions. Here you can see how detailed the solutions are in the back of the book. Incredible, so it shows you every single step and it explains everything. So perfect for anyone who wants to get better at multivariable calculus. It doesn't have everything, but what it does cover, it covers well and it gives you those examples that you just can't find in a lot of other books. You know, most books will have one or two examples, maybe three, of a line integral or maybe a couple examples of you know the curl or the divergence. In here you're gonna get more examples which is gonna make your multivariable calculus a lot stronger. So those are some books you can get to get started with mathematics right away. All of these books are in print, widely available and super inexpensive compared to other books. They're not perfect books because they don't cover everything in their respective topics, but they all have answers to every single problem which make them great for self-study and also great for anyone who's taking a math course and wants some additional help. There's a reason that these books are super popular on the internet. It's because they're awesome. But yeah, hopefully you've learned something in this video and hopefully you're motivated to go out there and do some mathematics. Good luck and take care. Oh, and if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting subscribe today. Also check out my Instagram, The Real Math Sorcerer. Good luck, take care, and go do some math.